Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Here we have a quick guide on how to defeat the first major boss, the Saber Toothed Predator in Soul Mask. Before you start the fight, you will need to have acquired some items before we can summon the boss. First of all, you will need to have a worship container and these can be found by defeating the elite NPCs at Barbarian Barracks. And you have one that's going to be just south of the rain forest portal, which is the first one that you will encounter probably. And here they are going to be quite low level. But you also have another camp just uh, to the northeast at the copper mines, which I feel are just a lot easier. As you can basically skip everything by going around the barrack by the mountain and just go to the elite and kill him from there. Uh, next up you will need to have 5 beast bones and beast blood and these can be acquired by hunting down animals around the map. And then you also need to get some premium fresh meat and this can be found by defeating Jaguars for example. Or just go to a beast lair and defeat the guardian there. And here we'll also find tons of beast bones laying around on the ground. And once you get all materials you can head out towards the boss which are at the ancient pyramids to the northeast. And before you enter the arena you might want to make yourself just a simple spawn just in case you might die. Once you get up to the arena there are three difficulties of the boss and for this we are going for the first one here. And I would recommend you get at least full bronze before attempting this boss. You can still do it before but it will get much bigger challenge for you. I like to go with the dual blade and also the great bow for this fight and then I just bring with one of my tank NPCs with me and also remember that you can have different kinds of food buffs on you here as well and for this I use some fruit and veggies, meat and also a stable food buff. And once you sacrifice the items on the altar the boss will appear and the fight will start. And the boss overall is not too hard to deal with especially if you have a NPC with you. The things to look for here is going to be when the ice glows red, he will now slam the ground and deal some AoE damage. And the boss damage will also make you bleed if you get hit by it. Other than that, he's basically the same AI as any other Jaguar or Panther in the game. Just try to move in circles with the boss and dodge out when he attacks you. He also start to sprint around you, uh, try not to get hit by this and at the end of the sprint he will then charge the guy that got the aggro on him. And that's basically the whole fight, kind of feels like shitting a bit if you have an NPC with you. And once the boss is defeated, don't forget to harvest him for materials that will come in handy as we'll need them to make the saber to set here for example. I'll put the whole fight uh, at the end here so you can see it for yourself without uh, any cuts. Maybe you get a better understanding of the fight overall. And you also get a lot of sandstone from defeating the boss. And you will also find some extra inside of the pyramid as well here. And at the top you will also find the first data upgrade that you will need to advance on your mosque tree. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you got any other questions feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!